and I went to the march on Washington because I knew we were coming. come to DC is the fact that I want to be a part of history. At the same time, I also put in the perspective that uh, as a college student, realizing the moment that I, I would be on like sort of a freedom ride, I'm bringing something back to full circle as far as uh, an experience that is shared from the past and is still present. To come down to DC and um, you know explore our respective cultural museums, learn more about each other not just from the museums themselves, um, but also just from each other. Something in my blood really shook, and I think it's because there is um, a recognition going on inside of me that, you know, despite the grief that my people have been experiencing, especially lately with, you know, the ongoing cases of police brutality, this is a space where we can, you know, experience a physical joy and to honor the development of our identities over time. I really wanted to come here so I can both learn and unlearn. I'm really excited um, to go to these exhibits, to have the opportunity to see history in a different light and the history of African American people and American Indian people, um, not always through the lens of like struggle and oppression, but also of like beauty and joy and celebration. I really wanted it to be an opportunity for other, other students to learn about either my people or just um, Native people in general. I don't really want to say I had expectations, like I had a lot of hope that, you know, people would really learn something from taking this trip out to the NMAI and for the most part I, I did see that. I think it's also easy for me to forget as somebody who identifies as Latina that you know part of my ancestry and part of my background is indigenous. It does come from indigenous people. You know here I am in the Smithsonian National Museum of the American Indians and I'm seeing pictures of indigenous people in Mexico and like that was wild and it was like beautiful to see that. Today I learned that it's bigger than me and it's bigger than my feelings and particularly for indigenous people. I got that as people living on this land, we walk heavily through this land every day whether we know it or not. I should be a better accomplice to indigenous people myself along with other Wang Sheik leadership, uh, we were able to voice our frustrations as Native students on the UW campus. That was really like a beautiful moment for me as a student to be able to share my experiences, but what was even more beautiful was that other people in that room were able to relate their own experiences with ours. Being here with you guys and building relationships with you guys solidifies my whole foundation and so I'm thankful for you all. Um, because a lot of you all explain to us like you're here for us and like you want to help out with us and ask us like how you can be better allies and I really truly appreciate that as a Native student um, who's often seen as invisible on my campus. So we are at National Mall I'm getting ready to see President Obama speak for the grand opening of the Museum of um, African American History and Culture. It felt very lifting to be at the dedication ceremony. Um, I didn't know how it was feel. I didn't know what to expect, but um, I was so jazzed and I was so energized, so much so that at the end of it, I was just extremely exhausted. It was just an honor to be in that space. And all I kept thinking about was, wow, this is history in the making. Again, I just felt really accepted in this space. 
Um, especially since I don't identify as black or African American, I felt really like warm and welcomed. It was just great, like it was just like really good vibes like the whole time. Um, and throughout the whole time, like I was able to relate what I was experiencing in that space to like my own culture and like who I am. So one thing that I'd like to point out was like the use of music and like songs throughout the throughout the ceremony. And I just like relate that to my own culture, my Native American culture, my Ojibwe culture, um, because we use songs for a lot of different things. Like we we have we literally have songs for everything. Uh, we we utilize like our music in big events like that. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, the dedication ceremony was very powerful. I felt uh, very a part of Black Deliberation. Hearing the changes going to come, just like seeing that come full circle, I was a part of something powerful, and that was bigger than just like my life. I too am American. Reaffirms that all of us are American. That African American history is not somehow separate from our larger American story. It's not the underside of the American story. It is central to the American story. That our glory derives not just from our most obvious triumphs, but how we've wrested triumph from tragedy and how we've been able to remake ourselves again and again and again in accordance with our highest ideals. I was able to feel welcome, inspired, um, encouraged, safe, um, and grateful. I felt like I felt a lot of emotion. Like I don't identify as African American, so I, I can't even imagine like uh, like what my fellow students felt um, who do identify as African American, because it was just it was just like really like a powerful feeling. Um, but yeah, it was, just, it was just like an amazing place to be and like, I'm really glad I was there. And it, it was just a great experience to just take part in uh, something that was historical, uh, more than deserving, and just was enlightening. I just had so many experiences within myself ranging from, you know, just uncontrollable laughter, just happy elation, to tears of gratitude, tears of acknowledging how much work we have to do. I truly understand now when it was said that this is our March on Washington. It, it was, it, it felt like it, and I feel like I'm getting chills right now as a result.